With FNAF's success, there's bound to be a character that represents this game's lore. And yeah, there is, being William Afton, or as many people know him, the purple guy. And his family consists of a majority of interesting characters. From a child with part of his brain missing, to a kid that turned to pure evil. So yeah, in today's video, I will tell you everything you need to know about the Afton family in The Afton Family Explained. Starting with the iconic man behind the slaughter himself, being William Afton. William started as a co-founder of Fredbear's Family Diner, along with Henry Emily. Both of them made animatronics like Fredbear or Spring Barney, along with another bear, a fox, a Barney and a chicken. But William can also be seen as a little gearhead, designing a springlock suit that made it possible for both a human and an endoskeleton to fit in one suit. But it wasn't all that sunshine and rainbows, because he lost two of his kids which led him down a dark path. He murdered Henry's child after she was locked outside the restaurant by some bullies. After which he created more animatronics by himself. Then he lured five children one by one into a back room, killing them in the process. And since six wasn't enough, he added another five kids onto his kill count. But it couldn't just go up for him, since one fateful night he caught himself in a springlock failure, which led to him being trapped in that suit. So for now, I'll be calling him Springtrap. Springtrap stayed in that back room for decades, until a guy with a phone for a head found him and placed him into Fazbear's Frights. That location though, got set on fire, which didn't cause Springtrap to die, but to turn into Scrap Trap. But you know what didn't get burnt down yet? The like and subscribe button, so click it while it's still there. Fire can't kill him after all. And after staying in some back alley for a bit, he now got placed into another pizzeria, but like Fazbear's Frights, that location got burnt down as well. He's now trapped into a cycle of death by one kid he shouldn't have killed. But meanwhile, his soul got transferred onto a circuit chip, which got placed into a video game. In here, we see him in yet another form, this time Glitch Trap. Glitch Trap then possesses a girl called Vanessa, who then transfers his soul onto another animatronic, which is why he's now called Burn Trap. Burn Trap is now at the weakest point he's ever been in, now stuck in a recharge station, while Vanny causes havoc. And one fateful day, he gets out of his recharge station to stop an annoying kid with his animatronic body. They try to set him on fire, but since that doesn't work, he got sucked up by a massive blob, which is where William's story ends, for now. We don't know much about Mrs. Afton, since she never really got talked about much in this franchise. However, we probably see her in a drowned ending of FNAF World, where she's seen watching TV with both her kids. Then in Midnight Motorist, we see her sitting on a couch watching TV. She's now bald. We don't know exactly what this means. However, it could mean that she had some sort of sickness that she died from. Now, the story splits into two parts. Firstly, she could be dead or left William entirely, as that's the last we see of her. Or her soul got put into Ballora, which is why she sings about William only working alone in his room instead of spending time with her. William's only daughter, Elizabeth, is a special case, since she went from obedient daughter to a killer animatronic. Like I said, she was an obedient kid, following her dad's orders without being a spoiled brat. But one day she went to her dad's newly opened pizzeria. In it, she wasn't allowed to go near baby. But when her dad wasn't looking, she took the chance to visit baby, which led to this. It was tragic, but William noticed that Baby changed after this, namely Baby's eyes changing from blue to green. So Elizabeth actually possessed the Circus Baby animatronic right after that. And a few years later, all of the sister location animatronic got scooped and put together into one animatronic called Ennard. They all worked together into tricking a night guard into getting scooped, but they ejected out of him shortly after his whole body began to rot. Ennard however ejected Baby and turned into Molten Freddy. We then see Baby in another form again in the FNAF 6 back alley, being Scrap Baby. In this location, like her father, she got salvaged into the pizzeria. But unlike her father, Baby didn't survive the fire. Her story doesn't end here, since we see Baby's head in the giant blob. So who knows, she may still be alive. 
Michael Afton is mostly agreed upon being the main character of the FNAF series, being in mostly all of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. In a few FNAF 4 mini games, we see Michael as a bully to his younger brother. And after finding out how scared his little brother is to these animatronics, he jump scared him every day while wearing a foxy mask. On his younger brother's birthday, Michael and a few friends pranked his younger brother into giving Fredbear a big old kiss. However, when they did it, Fredbear's jaw bit down into his younger brother's head. And after saying sorry to his younger brother in his deathbed, Michael fell into a deep hole, locking himself in his room. And he's now scared of the animatronics like his younger brother always was. One day he visited Circus Baby's entertainment and rental service. And after a few nights, Michael stepped right into the scooping room. In it, Michael served the same fate as his younger sister once did. The inner part then inserted themselves into Michael's body, wearing him now as some sort of skin suit to go outside of this place. However, from day to day, Michael turned into the same color as his father, a nice dark purple. Eventually, Ennard ejected himself outside of Michael, leaving Michael as a pile of human garbage on the floor. But Michael had the determination to stand up again, and now Michael goes on a quest to find his father, going through games FNAF 1, then FNAF 3, where he eventually finds him. Then he burns down the entire location to the ground, hoping that his father finally pays the price. A few years later, he finds himself now being the founder of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place, where he salvages both his younger sister, his father and the thing that was inside him once. He then burns the location to the ground, killing him, Henry and his sister. End communication. Last but not least, we have the youngest kid out of the Afton family, the crying child. But wait, what is his name? So for a long time, he never really had a name, until one faithful day where Game Theory uploaded a video. I'll link it up here, just in case you're curious on how they figured out his name. So Evan was always seen as a crybaby after witnessing his younger sister's death. And the only friend he's ever had was a Fredbear plush slash nanny cam his father gave to him. As we know, he got bullied by his older brother, which ultimately led to him getting Bite of 80 Freed. And all he ever got was a sorry from his mother and an empty promise by his father. And well, this is where the story of the Afton family ends. Some people would like to argue that Michael Afton is Glamour Freddy or that Gregory is a rebuilt version of the crying child. But without real evidence, I don't really believe in that. But if you still learned something new or just enjoyed the video, then please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more indie horror content. And in the meantime, why not check out my latest video on how MadPad is right about FNAF's ultimate timeline. Either way, I will hopefully see you in the next one. Peace.